when he comes to the kunj, when they are meeting, when they are together. So in this uh, regard, I was uh, preparing uh, some verse because uh, Jainanda Maharaj was uh, reading also from um, Srila Rupa Goswami's Utkali Kavallari. I hope you are happy with this. Gurudev is happy with this. And uh, always uh, I'm so happy when the devotees have Jai Gurudev! Now see. Yeah. Yeah, Jai Radev! Yeah, Radev! I was uh, looking for this, uh, I, I found this beautiful verse from when Radha and Mohan are meeting. Is this okay for you that I read this, Gurudev? Yes. Jai Ho! On to number five. Yeah. Sorry, is there uh, any more translators uh, except it, uh, Japanese today? Please let us know. Italian, no? I saw Italian. Italian is there? Who will do Italian? I saw Radha. Or Sundaram? Madhurya Rasa. Okay. Okay, all set. Oh, best of lovers, Radha and Mohan, when will my be like nose experience a festival of bliss by catching the fragrance of your blazing golden and bluish limbs? that are scented with musk and vermilion and which defeats the glories of all other fragrances with even its atomic fraction. Oh, best of lovers, Radha and Mohan, when will my be like nose experience? What is be like nose with Suniti? Uh, when is the meaning of be like nose? That will be explained in the in the actually the be like nose is the the mandra's nose is always greedy for the nectar honey of the fragrance that emanates from Radha Mohan when they are in embrace, because then their embrace brings out another fragrance. Usually we have the fragrance of Shrimati Radhika and we have the fragrance of Mohan, but when they are in embrace, then the colors of their bodies are mixing and also the fragrance of their body is mixing. And so the mandri is always eager to assist this kind of meeting. And it is a festival of bliss. And Rupa Goswami, as Rupa Mandri, is explaining this. It's a, a festival of bliss that when Radha and Mohan and me are meeting, and the Mandris can assist that, and they, she is explaining that this, this fragrance is completely out of this world. Their fragrance, which which emanates from them when they are together and defeats the glories of all other fragrances with its atomic fraction. So even like a little, 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 little atomic smell of their meeting is so, is so uh, glorious, it's so beautiful, it's such a festival that... Uh, Shila Rupa Manjari is writing one wonderful verse about this. 
Yes, Gurudev. Oh, you are you are muted, Gurudev. Oh, continue. Okay, good. So now it comes very beautiful commentary by Shila Anantaras Babaji, which is called the Sri Anga Parimal Dhara. That is the stream of bodily fragrance. That is the aroma of Radha and Mohan when they are meeting. <clears throat> and he is glorifying the stream of this atomic fragrance. This is the best perfume. And it's especially relished by the Mandris because they are there to serve their beautiful meeting. In a transcendental vision, Sri Padrupa continues to relish the sweetness of Radha Moha. When this vision subsides or goes away, he eagerly desires to see these relishable pastimes again. Then he has another vision. In this way, it continues. He does not personally endeavor for such visions. They come naturally. The bhajan of a sadhaka should be that natural. So we see that the waves of the bhajan of Srila Rupa Goswami entering into her personality as Rupa Manjari is a continuous flow of waves of meeting and separation. And Baba says, it comes naturally after some time. We are practicing smaran. We are listening kata. We are sharing together. And we, we practice to live in the memories and in the smaran. And when we are on the level of prem or bhav, on a, on a certain level of greed, and eagerness, then this intense emotions of this desire to remember will be so strong that they will naturally make Radha Mohan appear in our hearts in kind of visions or dreams or spurtis. And it comes natural. It's not something that you can press, not something that you can measure, not something that comes about uh, by a kind of a process of, uh, how do you say, calculation. Oh, I chant so many rounds. I do this and this and that. All our practices in Vaidhi Bhakti are very, very good, and they are preparing this. But these visions and these transcendental experiences come when there's an intensity of emotions. And these emotions, this love, this natural attachment is that what will appear in our hearts as a, as a sporty, as a vision, as a participation and to do service in that, in that vision. And Baba continues to explain it very, very nicely. At first, the sadhaka should endeavor to perform sasanga bhajan, worship with attachment to the Lord. Depending on the eternality of bhajan, but later their bhajan will become natural. So what does it mean? I was thinking, oh, what does it mean? It sounds a little bit complicated. But then I thought, oh, ah, I listened to this when Gurudev was explaining that this eternal Eternal pastimes of Radha and Mohan are called the Astakalia or the Astayam Lila. These are the daily meeting uh, hours. Like, for example, cooking in the morning, meeting at Radha, then going back home that, to the Yavat. Now, for us Mandaris, we go back home, 
where Srimati Radhika lives. And then we meet again at Soya Puja time. So there is like a order of different times during the day that we can meditate on. And our chayas have written about these daytime meeting places. But good if you always mention to me, don't make it uh, rigid, don't make it like a clock uh, wise meditation. We should first. Here. <laughs> On the other hand, I can understand that we cannot press this. But uh, if we meditate on maybe we have only five days le left in this life to continue <laughs> and to be, to get success in this path we get from the Guru. I'm sure that uh, the result will coming much more uh, faster with this when we create some heavy greed. So only five days. Meditate on this, sisters. <laughs> only five days left. Yes, like Maharaj Parikshit, he had seven days. <laughs> seven left. days. Okay, seven days. And what will happen in our bhajan? That will be a great success for this. We will be more eager. We will now uh, lose one minute of this time with useless things. We like to, to get it now and forever. Yes. And not, not in next year, not in 10 years. No, now. And now is the chance there. Only seven days. Remember this. Please meditate on this. And I'm sure everybody will will grow like Likely. wow. That will be a push. Yes, it's good to be uh, intense and to have greedy feelings. And sometimes the time pressure, like death or any disease, they could help us to come to a level of more greed and more intensity. I agree. Yes. Nobody knows what the time is when we will change a body or others who are helpful will, will be there or not, like our Gurudev also. We can change the body. All circumstances are now favorable. perfect, favorable. But Why maybe only for the next seven days. <laughs> so beautiful chorus on the I just yeah, wanted very to add, eager. I just wanted to to add on this this urgency which has to be there in our spiritual life. Without this urgency, we will stagnate, we will satiate, and it will go down again. We will go in those steps backwards. So here <clears throat> I wanted to add what Gora Sundar said, this urgency also. Gurudev, all the Acharyas, Raghunathas, Kuswami, Vinod Baba also mentioned it often in his classes where he says, the greatest stupidity we can do is to think that we will do this tomorrow. That I will start. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. cool. If I think, yeah, tomorrow I'll do it. I'll do more. You know, I'll intensify. Because he says, we don't know what will be tomorrow. Maybe there will be an earthquake. Maybe I will be get sick. Maybe my body will get something. Then he said, if I have the greed now, if I have the will today, then I have to do it today. I have to start immediately, you know, and this I think what Laura Sundar is just emphasizing, though, the seven days, the, the clock is ticking. We think we have time until the end, you know, later, when I'm 50, when I'm 60, like me, I'm thinking, oh, when I'm 50, I'll be serious, you know, but Raghunath Swami at the end of Vilapu's Kwanjari, it was 90 years old, he was almost blind, he cannot breathe, he cannot breathe properly, and it, I wasted my time. I wasted, Raghunath Swami is saying I wasted my time. So where are we? So, 
Radi, radi. To na ESP finale. Na Čas, som dali vás mikrofon. Sorry. Aha. Very nice. So we can ask, we can think now on ourselves. What would we change? What would you like to change if this would be seven days? What we like to change in our sadhana in the next seven days when this would be? No. Then we can get concrete. Yes. Meditate. How, what can we change? Or are we happy with that? Or is there something uh, missing? Some, something we like to do? No? Yes, and the point that Baba is making here that at one point when this intensity is there and this urgency and this a constant thirst, however it may happen, by mercy or by, in, you know, intense life circumstances or by any kind of, like, commitment. Now I want to do it. I don't want to waste no more time. Then it becomes natural. It becomes natural to remember. And here he says... The Sasanga Bhajan means that we are doing it with attachment. And attachment comes as a result of being together with those who are attached. Bhagavad Bhajan is not an activity of material bodies, senses and mind. By the grace of Shiguru, Vaishnava and she Bhagavan, the conditioned soul, becomes favorite, favorable to Bhagavad Bhajan and becomes able to do so when by the will of the Lord, his mundane mind, body and senses become identical with the Lord's inner and energy, the Swarup Shakti. So here we see there are so many points in that one sentence that Gurudev is teaching us all the time. We need a spiritual body, a spiritual consciousness to come in contact with Radha and Mohan in their eternal lilas. It is not an activity of, the, of this material body. This body is a tool. And our Gurudev is our navigator. And our goal is our Ishta Devi. And here he says so nicely, by the will of the Lord, by the mercy, when Krishna, when the contract with Krishna is signed in Bhagavad Gita, always Gurudev's mentioning this, when we have really committed ourselves to serving and surrendering to Krishna, he will give us our natural position in the pleasure-giving potency. And here Baba says, when our mundane body, mind and senses become identical with the Lord's innate energy. So it means that our full desires, our full actions, acti activities are going in this one-pointed direction to become a Darcy of Shimate Radhika. And then in this moment, by the mercy of Gurudev, we can become one in that sense that we are developing our spiritual senses. <laughs> Jai Gurudev! So again... Gurudev! One, one question. How to do this more intense? <laughs> Can you give a hint to that? Intimacy and satsanga bhajan. Jaiho! Association, like you are doing. 
<laughs> we are in your association and this mercy will come to us. <laughs> that is the best thing, that right association, wow. safe association. Intimacy means being close, Gurudev, and feeling each other and and enlightening and lifting each other up by doing it together. But there, and in with you, intimate is Madhuri. So he is in between you. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking, but he is intimate. He is sitting behind you, near to you. This is intimate. Mm. So, he is watching what you are telling and doing very nicely. <laughs> this is intimate. You are and in the sandwich. <laughs> right? Yes, good day. This is intimacy. And natural. One word is also very good, you say. What we are doing? Natural. This is natural. And mm. means if you change this word, then it's unnatural. Mm. So what we are doing is unnatural or what? Natural. Is this natural? Then what we have wasted time. Mm. If this is natural and it strikes natural, it's nature, our nature to love, to feel. Mm. But this is nature, natural, then what I do whole life? Mm. Unnatural or what? <laughs> so that's the point we have to understand. What we do is unnatural. I say, swimming in the flow, swimming against the flow. Natural is our natural position to swimming in the flow. That is natural. You only lie down on water, you can flow it. It's a natural. Mm. And when it's happened, it's a spiritual life is natural because we are so and want to be a material only thinking 24 7, but we are practicing unnatural. We have to work hard, and result is nothing achieved. When you were a child, and now you become 50. At 40, what do you achieve? Calculate what you lose. It. Mm. And when you will come 60, you achieve, you will see that and how much you lose it. So, on the whole, uh, material achievement is not much. And unnatural thing, I put my time. Okay. Uh, but uh, we not do the natural. Can we start thing. here, Pandra Yes, we have to become natural, like a child again in our bhakti, that we follow the flow of love. Intimacy and with the sajatiya sangha, mm. same mood association. But three things. It's very helpful. It keeps you to natural. Wow, right. Gurudev, so nice. Yes, yes. agree. So, so this urgency, intensity can only come when we are in our natural flow? Natural flow. <laughs> unnatural is not an unnatural thing. Feeling is not an unnatural thing. Mm. It's a natural thing. It's a business of the heart and soul. Mm. Mm. Not the mind. Huh? No, not, not that ego. False ego and mind. Material senses 
we say we feel from the senses. Okay, very good. Your senses is giving feeling. But the same person when he die, what their senses is giving feeling to you? Out of order. Finish. <laughs> Why you put in graveyard? Keep in home and all senses are active because senses are there. Because soul is not there. So feeling is dying. So natural is this that soul gives the feeling. Mm -hmm. This is the reality. But we forget naturality, we come to the material. Ah, so good, so nice. <laughs> so, good, so nice, Bundava. But why Bundava? Because I know, understand false, I am in false. Hmm. That's why we need spiritual senses, Gurudev. That's the point. To develop this go around feeling. Not conscious before, then the day of going to graveyard, that day it comes natural to you. But the soul cannot act in the material thing. Because we forget myself. When to use it, we forget that. Soul has to active in natural position in this material body. Why we took birth to do that? That to make, make the material where you are living in the room. It should be natural by my efforts with divine connection. It should. And to be in natural mm. is reason of taking birth. Right or not? Very good. Enjoyment tendency is material. Serving because tendency is spiritual. I think and my false ego think that my intimacy is material. Yeah. And that is my suffering. Mm. This is intimate for me. Mm. What is real intimate we forget. Well, we have not even any idea of it. I have to learn how to become spiritually intimate. Yeah. Loving. And for this, it's also important which prasadam we get. Yeah. Now we, we yes. share prasadam. Yes, how on the way, man. How I take the food, brain, my brain acts like that. Brain, brain, yeah. brain, and yeah, it works to the brain. In German, we said to bist was to east. To bist was to yes, east. Yes, was to east. Yes. <laughs> Same meaning. <laughs> yeah. To bist was to east. <laughs> <laughs> So nice. So nice. Yeah, and for this is this, wie heißt die Sangha, Satsangha? Satsangha oder Sajatya Sangha. Sajatya Sangha is so important that makes so much power we could feel in these four days. Yes, wonderful. It was very powerful and the prasad we share was made by the same feelings. Mm. And so wow. we could increase, and we what we spoke about was the same topics, wow. and we could increase. So everything could grow in this time. Now we all 
who was there are sure that we sit in the right train, Gurudev. <laughs> we have to come. Two weeks only, Gurudev. No, we have to, we have to. In two weeks. Is In two weeks coming, I, I'm waiting, counting. <laughs> but one thing, we have to make a hundred people meetings next year. Wow. That yeah. Many are want to come. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very good. We have to increase the uh, Chote Munga Mande, Guru. Yeah, and for a long time, more, more days. Longer the Mela. Longer, longer Mela. Yeah. Yes. And our desire is also that more devotees in the same mood are coming here to our place and stay here. Wow. That's cool. Now he is there. Madhuri. So he should sing something. It is a poem. Shiva Prada. Oh, yeah, our oh, Shiva Prada. Did ah. you bring the poem, Shiva Prada? No. Yes, yes. Yes, I have uh, two new poems, but I uh, wanted first to send to Guru Deva and maybe to read it uh, in the front. Oh, of read, 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 read. All is good. <laughs> Whatever you like. I have two poems more and one uh, I read, I uh, wrote yesterday. So there is something. Is uh, Radhika sent some words from my heart. There is something there. Yeah. So you want to next time maybe to read or now uh, or whatever. I want you to. Do you want to read the no now or next time? Suniti, what do you want? Now, if you are ready, now. Only seven days. We have no time <laughs> to lose. Seven days. Oh my. <laughs> okay, first time. Let let me find it. Okay, so one second. Mm -hmm. I'd like to just to find it. Oh. One second, please. No, not complete. It's the one. <clears throat> Morning time, it's not happened. Why? I was writing a story for the mother and Kishore. The mother also working on drama. I don't know what Kishore, Kishore uh, did it so much so after he did the rest. So, uh, can you hear me? Lina, help me. Okay, this song is uh, actually dedicated to Radha Madan Mohan in Goloka Dhamma, in your place where you're living. Actually, this is uh, their uh, first Radha Krishna deity. Uh, which I uh, saw in my life 30 and something years ago. They were in the Nrisimhakshetra or Nrisimhachal, how is it calling the, the place now? So they they were in the, sh I think, in shadow of Nrisimha, they now the bloom, they have, a, I think it's completely new mood. So I just disappeared from my heart. It's, uh, and I uh, dedicate it to them. So this one. Okay, just one second. I will try to read it slowly and correct correctly in English. Just a second. Mm -hmm. 
<coughs> okay, Radha Madan Mohan, it's the name of song. <coughs> Oh, and, sorry. What did you say? No, no, no. It's, 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 I would like to swim in this love while offering her jewelry in my mind as I run towards her with the glow of the opal on a tree. Tell me the most beautiful shade of blue that stirs in your waves so that I could sense the inconceivable glow in her gaze as her thoughts fly towards Mohan. Describe, describe to me that reflection when the sun gently touches you. Maybe that is how I will catch a glimpse of that moment when one heart touches another. Oh, ocean that keeps many secrets. Reveal to me how to keep the blackbirds in my chest that, that are heard as soon as her name is mentioned. Uh, that the always wake me up with the song of her name when thoughts of her overwhelm my sleep. A restless wind that fills the sails and moves the clouds. Bring me the lily petals from Radhika's feet so that I can put them on my chest as a balm to heal the longing for my Swami. Bring me the echo of the dark-skinned player's foot that whispers only one name. Rade, Rade, I'm waiting for you, my dearest one. Oh, my friend, if you can carry tears, put them in your bosom and lay them at her feet, because my love is poured into them. And everything that I offer to her I place in the palms of love. O oh, Kinkaris, dear sisters, what gifts should I put in them? What kind of jewels would Radhika's sapphire-like eyes want to see? What fabric would the moonlight on her skin wish to feel? What kind of bracelets would her swan-like hands like the most? What garland would the, the silken sheen of her neck desire? What melody would Radhika's ankle bells like to play? Oh, all my dawns that wake me up with light, bring me the brightness of her eyes to separate the, the night from the day. O oh, Radha Madan Mohan, another season comes when new lives blossom around us. Like once open up in a time when I first saw your dear faces on the altar. O oh, my dear ones, I offer you all the tender buds that this spring brings with it. I offer you all the springs of my life. All the trembling of my heart when I say your names, I offer to you. O oh Krishna, with the bamboo flute tucked into your belt, calling you, Radha came to me. O oh Radhe, O oh the enchanting music of the bamboo flute, with you, love came to me. O oh indescribable love, Radha is your name. So, this is the song. Thank you very much for your attention. One time more, repeat it. One more time. <laughs> the same song, this, yeah? Okay. A little slower. Slower. Okay, mm -hmm. I will try. So, 
O endless ocean, tell me your limits, so that I may guess the depth of Radha's love. I would like to swim in this love by wow. offering her jewelry in my mind. As I ran towards her with the glow of the opal on a tray, tell me the most beautiful shade of blue that stirs in your waves. Wow. So that I could sense that inconceivable glow in her gaze as her thoughts fly towards Mohan. Describe to me that reflection when the sun gently touches you. Maybe that is how I will catch a glimpse of that moment when one heart touches another. O oh, ocean that keeps many secrets, reveal to me how to keep that, that uh, blackbirds in my chest that are heard as soon as her name is mentioned. That the always wake me up with the song of her name when thoughts of her overwhelm my sleep. O oh, restless wind that fills the sails and moves the clouds, bring me the lily petals from Radhika's feet so that I can put them on my chest as a balm to heal the logic for my Swamini. Bring me the echo of the dark-skinned player's flute that whispers only one name. Rade, Rade, I'm waiting for you, my dearest one. Oh, my friend, if you can carry tears, put them in your bosom and lay them at her feet. Because my love is poured into them. And everything that I offer to her I place in the palms of love. O oh, Kinkaris, dear sisters, what gifts should I put in them? What kind of jewels would Radhika's sapphire-like eyes want to see? What fabric would the moonlight on her skin wish to feel? What kind of bracelets would her spawn like hands like the most? What garland would the silken sheen of her neck desire? What melody would Radhika's ankle bells like to play? Oh, all my dawns that wake me up with light. Bring me the brightness of her eyes to separate the night from the day. O oh, Radha Madan Mohan, another season comes when new lives blossom around us. Like once upon a time when I first saw your dear faces on the altar. Oh, my dear ones, I offer you all the tender buds that this spring brings with it. I offer you all the springs of my life. All the trembling of my heart when I say your names, I offer to you. O oh Krishna, with the bamboo flute tucked into your belt, calling you, Radha came to me. O oh, Radhe, O oh, the enchanting music of the bamboo flute, did you, love came to me. O oh, indescribable love, Radha is your name. So, thank you. Wow. Well, thank you.
Thank you very much. Very beautiful, Shiva Prada. Yes, this is for Radha Madan Mohan. I kept them all these years in my heart, and it seems that uh, they helped to me to stay with you, with devotees, all this time. I maybe didn't conscious that uh, they will appear in my heart in uh, this way as today I feel them deeply in myself. So I just, just they maybe gave an indication that uh, how, how is a wide ocean of their love, actually. Just one indication. When, um, when I uh, had made some first steps uh, trying to realize something in my heart, but they are very patiently uh, waiting for me, as I, of course, waiting for all of us, just to try to swim deeper and deeper and connect with them in a, such a way that we can feel a real real relationship actually with them to increase it as you spoke previously day by day and try to increase as much as is possible so i i don't have nothing special to say i'm not some philosophical guy you know i just uh, <laughs> always uh, repeating the same thing uh, i mean in this uh, in this uh, mm, period of my life, I just uh, can, uh, in an emotional way to speak, actually, not to say special, some philosophical points or something, I'm not uh, anymore in this uh, mood, how to say, and uh, taking inspiration of you, Guru, then when all of you who helping me to increase and develop this uh, emotional so I don't know what else to say. Actually, there is one so more. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I, sorry. Excuse me. Yes. I need again the Italian room because I lost the connection. Sorry. Sì, ti sentiamo. Però mi sentono anche tu. Sì. Mi sentono anche loro. I just wanted to say um, one thing more. I mean, technical thing, actually. There is one song more, what I uh, wrote uh, recently. Uh, its name of, uh, name of the song is... Uh, a uh, palm of love. I spoke about Radhika's palms actually, but I didn't yet translate it in English. So maybe for the next time I can read it if, if you like, of course, if Guru Dev like and you, I will read it the next time. Read it now. It's not in <laughs> English, Guru Dev. <laughs> no, so in English. Translation next week. But I mean, good, it is very greedy to listen to your poems. Yes, too. yes, I, I have one more in progress. Just yesterday I appeared in, in my heart, actually. So, mm -hmm. so there is a something. Actually, next week, uh, mm -hmm. Prem Gopal uh, coming in Serbia, uh, I get information uh, suddenly that uh, Prem Gopal Goswami Prabhupada coming in uh, Serbia in a uh, our country. So next week, uh, I'm going there to associate with devotees there. It's the first, actually, first time in Serbia that uh, such a kind of uh, of a group of this uh, kind of devotees uh, in Serbia, they will be assembled in one place. Uh, it will be very ecstatic. There are so many Rasi devotees coming there to speak about uh, Radhika and the uh, things what we with our heart yearn to <laughs> to hear. So maybe next uh, Wednesday I cannot, but uh, after that uh, I will uh, 
Rage with Suniti to read it. Maybe this and maybe two more songs. If your desire is so, I will share with you, of course. So. Jai Rati. Thank you, Shiva Prada. Very, very nice. And we are looking forward to listening some more of your heart's feelings. In your desire to please Srimati Radhika, it's very beautiful. Uh, yes, actually, it's just her mercy. I uh, actually didn't know that we, this will be up here. You know, it's just her desire. It's uh, just uh, to do it some some seva to her. So that's the... Yeah. Thank you. Maybe there is some more devotees uh, uh, who are writing the songs. Maybe somebody else want to share some song. Actually, here, no. Because I don't want to all the time be in the front. You know, I, I'm sure that there is somebody else to uh, want to share the. Yeah, usually they write to me, but lately nobody has written, so we will just go with the what is arranged at this today. Good, if, if you agree, I, I continue a little bit with the purport. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, the stream of bodily fragrance glorified by Shila Rupa. Goswami and with the uh, purport with the tikka of Ananda Das Babaji. When the senses of the Lord, uh, of the conditioned soul become favorable to Bhagavad Bhajan, they become identical with the Lord's innate energy and thus become able to perform bhajan in the form of hearing, chanting, and remembering. Sriram. This is amazing, Gurudev, isn't it? Hearing. So, hearing, chanting. Chant mm -hmm. Without hearing, chanting, not happening. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Chanting desire not come without hearing. Once the feeling not come, chanting will not be. Mm. And it is also so lovely to know that even the desire that we want to do it and we want to listen more, we want to be together more, it's also mercy. This desire is also Srimati Radhika's mercy, mercy of our Guru Manjari and of all our brothers and sisters, that they are helping me, conditioned souls, to grow in a higher consciousness. And then, here Baba says that the senses become identical with the Lord's innate energy. So that I understand, Gurudev, we are getting our Swarup. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. When, when we have our swarup, then the process is I intensified our spiritual senses develop. Then we identify myself when I have a constitutional position. When I'm in my material body, we identify material. Yes. When in my constitutional position, in my saru, my spiritual body, then I am identified rather more. That that is when it becomes 
flavor, that flavor, I want to leave all the time. And as a result of constantly performing sadhan bhajan, the mind and senses become purified and their natural attachment to sense objects disappear. Yeah. Why they disappear? Because they have gotten a higher taste now. Because mm. my consciousness. Now we have the spiritual senses. <laughs> Before was different identification of him, mm. and now is not just false to me. Mm. And only by listening the past, without not listening past time, this desire will never come. When air will start drinking. Eyes yes, will start the talking. ear has to drink, and the eyes. Eyes will start talking. Mm. Then mouth will start chanting. Mm. Right down this. Ear will start drinking. Eyes will start talking, and mouth will always. Living in glorification, you cannot leave this mouth to move for the name of your love. You have to do it automatically. These are all insulting. Wow. Young Gurudev only wants to taste the flavor of that, of her and that topic. flavor comes. This power now situation. In the what I feel that they are in the service of the Manjaris, then they speak mainly without to speak. There are not so much talk about things because they cannot speak about this, what they are doing in the public. public. They have to make hints. And they are so expert in this. Nobody is like the Manjaris and nobody knows these hints. Only Manjari, Rata and Mohan. Only this tree, nobody knows. When they use different colors to give hints what will happen, Krishna can read this. When they make leaf on the face of Radhika, it's these are like words spoken to Krishna when he sees it, then he knows exactly which. Kunjis evening time meeting point. This leaf, especially for this kunj. And so they not no need to speak something. They know it. And the Manjaris are the experts for these translations. Or the red color of the lips who are waiting for Krishna, that he will recognize. Wow, this is waiting for me, night time. Or this black kajal around the eyes of Radhika, what is made by the Manjaris. Wow, it will be nighttime, dark night when we will reach, when we will meet. And so their conversations are hiding. There are, there are all secrets and nobody knows. When they make the food, they give hints in the food what will happen when in the meeting. These are wow. all conversations, no words, Gurudev. No natural. need to speak. What is natural? Mm. <laughs> is a natural the mind. Eyes are talking. Eyes are Eyes. talking. Yeah. The glances. Because of intimacy is there. Mm. 
closeness is lost. They understand each other. Intimacy is there. Oh, even I when they speak, Gurudev, no? maybe mm. they speak different topics. Then they, they speak about how to milk the cows or how to make some food or whatever, and all others thinking, oh, they are so busy with their, what they are doing, but hidingly they give the information, so where is the meeting? Yeah. <laughs> This is so special with the... And Gurudev, now I know also why Krishna put water in the eyes of Swamini. When they are, <laughs> when they are in the water games in Radhakund, Swamini not put water in Krishna's eyes, but Krishna put water in Swamini's eyes. Is it because he is so cruel? Or he has no heart? Or what is the reason behind this? There is... <laughs> I was one week only think about why they do this. And it's so beautiful when it comes then after. Maybe you also speak about it. I don't know. This is because Krishna's eyes like to see something. The beautiful body of Radhika. But When she will be wet in the public, she will not show her body to everybody. But then Krishna eagerly put the water in her eyes. So then she has to give up the covering of her hands. Her hands. So she has to take care of her eyes. Because so much water is coming, and what is happening? She she puts her hand from the breast to the eyes to cover the eyes, and now Krishna is getting what he is desire for, because there is so thin clothes, mm -hmm. and she can see everything. And in the public, it's no no nothing wrong because she cannot do anything. He is too heavy to her, and all are seeing this. But the Manjaris exactly know that now also her desire is fulfilled. <laughs> And why not Radhika throw the water? Manjiri is telling. The one Manjiri went to Manjiri, why not Radha is throwing water? <laughs> Because she has all friends. If she one time throw, Thousands of the friend can throw to her eyes, Krishna eyes. Why not she do this? Then, yeah. Then, Manjiri say, you don't understand, but you don't understand that. You don't understand, are She want to win to Krishna. She does now win. Yeah. And she want to make tired to Krishna. Because publicly she don't want to win. Right. If she is winning, but publicly she want to glorify Krishna more. Wow. And his vision higher. So she'll not throw the water then he will become tired. And when he will see, then he will rush to do that. He will be more excited yeah. to, to win, to, to <laughs> show the winner. And that way, my Swami is also happy. And so, she is not lose, she win. There is one the nice uh, also sweet sequence of this water, Lila, that when Mohan splashes her face, 
she gets it in her eye. And what she does, she goes then underwater and hides. And there in the Radha Kun, there are many water lotuses. So she hides in those lotuses. Now Mohan, everyone is looking, where is she? Where is she gone? So Mohan goes after her. And of course, our Swamini is also a lotus. And you can see all the bumblebees around one lotus in that lake. So Mohan knows where she is. So he goes there and there in the secret in midst of all the lotuses, he can get his reward from her. This yeah. one, I heard this one time. This is a very beautiful wow. expansion also, variation of that leader. Yeah. Yeah. And all this, we can see the specialities of the manjaris yeah. and how they control, how deep is every, every step there, what is the meaning behind. Nobody understands, only manjari, rata and mohan. And sometimes also mohan don't understand. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> manjari and rata understand. They are not agitated by lust. Like Krishna is in the enjoyer, he is, likes to enjoy, and then when he get this uh, seva to to make some painting on Radhika's body. <laughs> His hand is not steady. <laughs> not steady. He cannot do. He become <laughs> nervous. But manjaris are very cool. One of the qualities, what I find out, nobody is cool like the manjaris. If we say in, in English. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a term. <laughs> Mm, the most cool personality personalities. Nobody knows that. Nobody can do what they can do. Not no, even Krishna no. can do what they can do. And not even Radhika, because they both depend on them. They both need the help and support. Two cannot make a festival, no needs. No. no. No festival only with two persons. This is very boring. Me, Sari, for them, mark me. So, when attachment to the Lord thus awakens, bhajan becomes natural. Oh, it's a plus, when a, a attachment. attachment. When attachment mm -hmm. awakens. That means when we like to hear, when we like to exchange, when we like to listen and to read, and every day we are only thinking, when do I have the time to go in my meditation? How can I remember? Doing everything I do 24-7. So when this attachment awakens, it's an awakening also to do this, to be able to do this. Bhajan becomes natural means naturally we like to meet here on the zoom i don't want to miss i don't want to miss any exchange i don't want to miss any uh, feelings that are shared and then uh, i love this sentence that baba is expressing so beautifully gradually as a, gradually in graduation slowly rati appears in the heart of the sadaka and takes him along into the kingdom of transcendental visions. When I hear this, Gurudev, then I think, who is Rati? Rati is Rati Manjari. So when she appears in our heart, she takes us along in the kingdom of transcendental visions. Like when we listen our Vilapakus Manjari, who is this? This is our Rati Manjari. She is taking us along in her heart feelings. 
And then Baba is expressing that, that when gradually Rati appears in the heart of the sadaka and takes him along into the kingdom of transcendental visions, then when I read this, I really feel that uh, that is happening, Gurudev, when we are hearing our Vilap Kushmanjali and Rati is growing in our hearts and taking us along, the babies, to the service uh, of means, uh, greed the son of greed yes. when the greed become more intense yes that madness when the greed become bad must be some madness then it becomes really bad that is a wonderful yeah the madness and when prema appears, even this, even this preceding bliss of the stage of rati cannot be attained anymore in vision. Again. Then, this, what does it mean, Guru? When prema comes, then the visions are not enough anymore. Then direct, direct. Huh? Then it's a sakshat darshan. Prema makes you to be there. Yes. That is the meaning of Prema. Bhakti Jaha Hoyte. Avitya Vinashayat. Then the feeling becomes the body. Mm. When Prema comes, feeling becomes the body. Yeah. Body becomes feeling. Then there is no in between there, it is one. We everybody be, will get crazy by this. There is not no more control, nothing. It will open fully. So Prabhupada said, we need our constitutional position. Sit that there. This is divine love. This is not material love. So material body cannot exist. No, no. Mm -hmm. Is a material base love is not ac acceptable there. It should be a divine body to receive that divine love. Because it's a very power, divine power. Yes. We are not like Mahaprabhu who who get it. Even in this body, when he uses forms and like this, who cannot control the eye? He, <laughs> will, he is, is in his static love, he is he become mad also, like a Urma Kriti Turtle. He changes form. Mm. Wow. Our wish. Wow. Although he was so divine, Radha Krishna, but love makes so great intense love. Pure love is very high intense. Then the senses of the sadhaka become extremely eager to have the direct vision and to mm. render direct service for the pleasure of the Lord of Radha Mohan. Yeah. Yeah. 